hooking up power on your RV. In this bin, the very back bin on the driver's side, you open it up and the first thing you're going to see is the surge protector and power analyzer and then your power cord. There is also a bag in here of other power accessories. If your campsite doesn't happen to have uh, 50 amps of service, there are two different adapters. There's one to bring it down to 30 amps, and then there's one to bring it down to 15 amps if your uh, driveway mooching or whatever. If you're on 30 amps, you can only run one air conditioner at a time. And if you're on 15 amps, you should not run any of the air conditioners. So those are extra parts. There are also some extra uh, 110 extension cords in there, or 15 amp extension cords. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by coming over here. And your pedestal in the RV park probably looks a little different than this for power. Um, the, this is at my house, so it's set up a little different. Uh, normally there are some breakers uh, along with this plug. Uh, you should turn off all the breakers and then go ahead and plug in your surge protector and power analyzer. Since we don't have that here, we're gonna go ahead and plug this guy in. You'll see his face is glowing white, white right now and you hear a click. That means that it has turned on. Uh, if for some reason his face turns red and you get an error code down here, uh, contact the park because there's a problem with the power. So what we're gonna do right now, normally you would turn your, your power back off at the breaker so you don't have to worry about any energized prongs while you're plugging in, uh, but we're just gonna be real careful right now and we're gonna plug the one into the other. Then we're gonna unroll our power cord and come back here just past the bay where you got the power cord out of and there is this little stainless steel flap and you're gonna lift this up and this is the power where you plug in the RV. You'll notice that there's a little shiny grounding uh, connection on the side and that lines up over here with this side grounding connection. You put it in it a little bit of an angle and you push and it's the only way it'll go in. And then when you turn it straight, it's locked in place. Then there is also a little ring that goes around the outside. Uh, just tighten that down and that'll prevent any water from dripping in or anything else. And you're all set. And then you go and you turn power back on at the pole. Oh, yep. Then go turn your power back on at the pole. Thanks.